A few months back, I made a video about my two favorite default pens that I think you should use. One was the calligraphy pen, and the other was the turnip. But the problem with the turnip was, I had said that it created that sharp feathering point as it, and it was set to a default, that I never made any changes to the turnip pen. With the turnip pen, every line that you draw is like a, a feather. But when I had to redo and put the turnip pen back in, because somehow I lost it, its default doesn't do that sharp feathering like I showed in that previous video. It's either, A, it used to do that because I started with Manga Studio 5, and I've just kept carrying over my brushes from every update and every version, or I'm having a terrible case of the Mandela effect. But either way, if you got Clip Studio Paint now, this is what your turnip pen's going to look like, which is not at all what I talked about in that previous video. So I will show you how to take any brush and turn it into that sharp feathering point like I talked about in the previous video about my favorite defaults. So I was wrong, but let's fix that. Okay, so you can take any brush. I'm going to start with my G pen. And with it highlighted, I'm going to click this to create a copy of the current tool, which was that one. And I'm going to call that feathering. And then up here in the tool properties, I will click the wrench. Here it is. Okay, so the first settings I'm going to, I'm just going to start from the top and work my way down. So first is the brush, brush size. With this drop down, I'm going to change its pressure sensitivity. And I know right off the bat, I'm going to want it like this. Now, do you see how that changed? Okay, that's good. Now, chances are we may go back and forth between some of these as we go along to, to fine tune it, but these are the first initial changes. So then down to anti-aliasing, I put it on none because I like the, when I'm inking, I like the brushes to have either a black or a white. I don't want gradation. That's for coloring and shading. That's for a different layer. Brush shape, tip, leave it on circle. No spray effect. Stroke. Put it on fixed, and I'm going to drag it as far to the as I can so that it's as smooth as I can get it. No texture. Then we come down to corrections. So here I'm going to put the stabilization at about 20. And I'm going to put the post. We've got to turn that on. That's about right. And a taper. Taper is how much after you've drawn a line, it'll continue. If I put it really high, I, I don't I don't like that. I kind of like as if you had a pen. Once you pick that pen up or that brush up, it's done drawing. Oop, I had on the wrong one. There we go. See? And then starting and ending points. This is where you really create that sharp feathering point. So I'm going to go to the none, but click the drop down for brush size. Specify, that's fine. I'm going to turn that off because the speed, starting and ending speed, won't matter with this brush. I'm going to leave the ending at 20 just for a little, little bit of rounding. And I'm going to put the start point all the way. Let's change the size. I'm at 60, which is pretty big, but you draw a line, and once you release it, it sharpens right to a nice tapered feather point. It's only going to be on the start point where you, when you draw. If you want it to be on the end point right here, you would have to switch these numbers, which, you know, suppose you could do this, and it's on the start and end point all the time. But I find that with Feather, you know, what I use it for. So going back to that other video, I had said that this was how the turnip pen was in default. And again, I don't remember ever altering or changing it. So mystery continues, I guess. Call the Y files. 
All right, well, I hope this clears up anything. Um, if you've watched the previous video and now you're checking this one out, thank you much. If you're just now finding this video, um, I suppose you don't need to watch the first one, but actually you could because the first one I talk a lot about the calligraphy brush, which has got a lot of great features for different kind of textures and shapes, which is a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. Uh, click subscribe, like, share the video, click the bell for notification, and I'll see you in the next video.